guys in this video i am going to show you how you can boost your fps fix fps drops and stutters in valorant with your any low end or modern pc so guys in the first step i'm gonna show you some best settings for your windows for improving your pc performance for valorant or any other game so guys first of all you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and you will go to this kind of the window you need to type here gpedit.msc and click ok it will take you here on the next window now what you need to do you need to now go for this administrative template option and go for the windows component there you will find out app privacy open up this folder and scroll all the way down and there you will find out that's window app run in the background so you need to right click here or double click here then you will go to this kind of the window so you need to go for this enable option then go for the default for all apps set it on the default now hit apply and click ok and close out this window so guys now in the second step i'm gonna show you how you can download the boost pack and how you can utilize it for increasing the performance of your pc so you need to guys simply open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here and now what you need to do you need to find out this article which is the valorant how to boost fps fix fps drops and stutters for low end pc you can also find this into the recent post section or you can also go for the search bar and find out this post by searching this title. Now click here on this article, it will take you here onto this next page. Now scroll all the way down and there you will find out these two buttons. You can use any one of these and here click on this download button. It will take you onto the media file, click on this download button and download this FinRAR file on your PC. Once you got this file on your computer, now what you need to do, double click here and drag this folder here on your desktop. You will go to this Valorant FPS Boost Pack for PC, double click here and there you will find out these two folders. Open up the CPU program option and there you will find out the software which is the power control and it will help you to creating the best power plant for your PC or laptop. So double click here, click yes, click yes again, I agree all the term, click next and install this software on your PC. After installing it, you will go to this kind of the interface. Now what you need to do, go for this drop down and set it onto the Bitsum High Performance and click on the make activate. Disable all of these options and set all of the slider onto the 100%. Now go for this Bitsum Dynamic Push Enable, click here, go for this drop down, set it onto the Bitsum High Performance and click OK. And by the way, you will not get this option into the latest variant so make sure to download the same variant which i have provided you into this boost pack now once you're done now you need to go for this ok button and here we're done with about this software this will keep running here in your background whenever you turn on your pc so now let's go back into the main directory of our boost pack open up this registry optimization for gaming folder and there you will find a ton of registry changes for your pc so first here is over disable game dvr1 game dvr2 disable power throttling increase the performance and increase system responsiveness so you need to install all of these are eg file on your pc one by one so how to do it it's very simple double click here click yes click yes again click ok and do the same setting for your all these files so once you install all of these files and open up here this folder which is the reduce input delay because a lot of people are getting the high input delay into the valorant their enemy shoot first even if they press before then their enemy so you need to guys make sure to use this rg file so here is for our keyboard optimization double click here click yes install this file go for the mouse optimization and also install this file on your computer now once you're done now close out this window so guys now in the third and the last step i'm gonna show you some best settings for your valorant so guys go for your valorant in-game settings and now here you need to follow exactly everything which i will show you to do so simply go into video settings because it will impact on the performance of your game so guys simply follow all of the settings like i'm doing here i'm using the resolution this is depend on you the lowest resolution you will use you will get more fps so now use the resolution whatever you need go for the limit fps on battery make sure to turn it off go for the max fps on battery also turn it on to the off go for this limit fps in background make sure to turn it on to the uh, off also and go for the limit fps always you can turn on this option and set the uh, fps according to your monitor hertz like i have the 240 hertz so i'm setting it on to the uh, 360 or 390 whatever your pc easily can achieve so like for example i am now setting here on the 360 fps if you have like 60 hertz monitor so you can simply set it on to the 100 fps 120 fps 144 160 150 whatever you want so once you then now go for the nvidia reflex low latency and set this option on to the on plus boost this is the best settings for reducing the delay of your mouse and the keyboard into the valorant so once you're done now go for this graphic settings and make sure to guys 
uh, now follow all these settings carefully so first stage of multi-thread rendering if you have a good cpu so make sure to turn on this option if you even have a low end so go over with this because this will work better with the multiple thread of your cpu so turn on this option and here is our material quality texture quality detail quality ui quality set all these options on the low for getting the maximum fps out of your pc into the valorant here is the uh, vision 8 so turn it off vsync turn it off here is the uh, anti analyzing set it onto the none then here is the filtering quality or set it onto the 1x improvement improve clarity also turn it off experimental sharpness turn it off bloom distortion and the other effect you can also set all these options on to the off for getting the better performance from your pc into the valorant so once you're done guys with all of the settings now one time make sure to restart your pc before playing the valorant because all the registry changes which we have done that will take effect after once you restart it so i hope so you love this video so please make sure to subscribe if this help out you so till at the next video peace out